this video to press like and subscribe button. Thank you. SpaceX's dream of full rocket reusability started with Falcon 9 rocket, which at first wasn't really reusable, but after many improvements to the rocket, Falcon 9 Block 5 has come of age. SpaceX would like to apply, it seems, the same principle to Falcon Heavy. Space News reports that SpaceX is planning an impressive duo of Falcon Heavy launches in the first half of 2019. According to Nick Fox, NASA's Heliophysics Division Director, SpaceX intends to recover and reuse all three Falcon Heavy first stage boosters for both launches and apparently believes that it can recover and prepare them for a second launch in as few as 60 days. Following the highly successful February 2018 launch debut, SpaceX has targeted the launch of commercial satellites Arabsat 6A and the US Air Force Space Test Program in the second half of 2018, a schedule that has now moved to early 2019. If the unofficial plan described above turns out to be true, the US Air Force will apparently become the first commercial customer to launch on flight-proven Falcon Heavy. Whether or not this official unconfirmed information is correct, it certainly sounds like just a thing that CEO Elon Musk might challenge SpaceX to pull off. Not to mention the fact that this would place the US Air Force in a situation requiring it to become the first commercial customer to launch on a flight-proven Falcon Heavy. However, US Air Force is really keen on the payloads reaching orbit, and for these reasons they always use new rockets for which they pay above market rate as its national security launch, no idea if US Air Force will let SpaceX launch reused Falcon Heavy. Time will tell. Scheduled for 22nd of December launch, US Air Force first next generation GPS satellite, GPS 3 SV01, was delayed and Air Force was jittery about reusing all the Falcon 9 Block 5 launcher for this mission. The Air Force implied they would be extremely uncertain about using all the proven Falcon 9 rocket for national security launches. Admittedly, the intentions behind STP-2 differ drastically from GPS-3 SV-1 mission. As the name suggests, the mission falls under the program explicitly designed to test and prove out new launch vehicles in the context of fast-tracking the certification for higher-value Air Force spacecraft. Falcon 9 could almost certainly launch STP-2 mission in a reusable configuration, but the US Air Force chose Falcon Heavy and included a literal dead weight because the military branch is very interested in rocket potential, utility for more serious national security space missions. SpaceX's first Falcon Heavy launch famously featured flight-proven side boosters performed jaw-dropping simultaneous landing at LZ-1 and LZ-2. Chances are good that Falcon Heavy Flight 2 and 3 will both feature additional attempts at simultaneous LZ booster landings. If SpaceX can find a way to launch Falcon Heavy twice in barely two months while still using all three first stage boosters, it is hard to imagine a better way to demonstrate the economic and technological viability of both Falcon Heavy and Block 5 reusability upgrades. Music